Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the three band, four band, and five band splitter plugins in the JS folder. These come included with Reaper. You just look in the JS folder and type in split. You'll find three band splitter, four band splitter, and five band splitter. I have a project set up here with the five band splitter. Uh, let me just show you kind of what you can do with this. So I've got the the synth part through the splitting chain split out to five separate tracks, and then I have different effects on each track. Okay, so I've got this five band splitter plugin. I just used the default settings here is this is choosing the crossover points. This is the five band splitter. So there's everything below 200. Then there's the crossover, everything between 200 and 2000, everything between 2000 and 5000, everything between 5000 and 8000, and then finally everything above 8000. So those are split up into these five separate tracks. If we look in the routing, I have the main track where the file will be with the master send disabled, and then I have the track channel set to 10. So if you're using the five band splitter, you want this to be a 10 channel track. And if you're using the three band splitter, you want this to be a six channel track. Hope that makes sense. So these are all sending to these individual tracks. Audio one and two goes to audio one and two, pre-fader, post effects, unity gain. That's to track uh, one, this is the sub bass. Then band two is going to plug in audio three, four into inputs one and two on this new track. Five, six to one, two, seven, eight to one, two, and nine, 10 to one and two. Now that we have these all split up, we can solo each band. I'm gonna turn off all the plugins and let's hear this. So this is the super low stuff, everything below 200. Let's go to band two. This is everything between 200 and 2000. Everything between two and 5K. Everything between five and 8K. And everything above 8K. So uh, one of the interesting things you can do with this is uh, to use pitch shifting on one of the higher bands. And here I'm using uh, one octave up plus a bit of formant shift, and then that's panned to the left. On the other side, I've got two octaves up, a bit more formant shift, and I'm also using the preserve formants uh, higher pitches option, because that sounds a little bit nicer for the high frequencies. So let's hear that before and after. So that kind of adds just like this nice sparkly sound. We could of course blend in the dry signal. Let's try that. Definitely makes for a more interesting sound. I'm doing the same thing, the exact same plugin settings on the uh, super high band. On band three, I'm using a flanger. Pretty subtle. On band two, I'm using the frequency shifter plugin from Air. Really weird plugin. And band one, I'm using a phaser. And I'm also summing this band to mono. Again, a very subtle effect on that. But together, I think it makes a pretty interesting 
it didn't sound bad before, but I, I think this is just an interesting way of approaching effects. Okay, so let's actually delete all this, and I'll show you as fast as I can how to set this up for the first time. Let's do the three band splitter. So we need four tracks. So I'm going to right click up here, insert multiple tracks, and put in four. So frequency splitter, band one, band two, band three. You can always call those low, mid, high, or whatever you like. I'm going to grab the three band splitter plugin. Drop it in here. And now we need to open up the routing here. Disable the master send. Make this a six channel track and start sending into these other tracks. So Unity, pre fader, post effects, audio one and two to audio one and two, and turn off the MIDI send, just in case you're using MIDI on this track. New send to band two. Double click that, pre fader. This is stereo source three and four. And again, no MIDI, it's going to one and two. And band three, prefader, double click this. Stereo source five and six, and no MIDI. So now, grab a sound. Grab this sound and hit play. Should be able to hear it on three tracks. And we can mix these like an equalizer almost. And of course, we can add in any effects we like. I should also mention this other plugin, the JS uh, Joiner plugin. So three band joiner, four band, and five band. They basically allow you to do all of this routing within one track. Maybe I'll do that in another video. But uh, for now, I like to have these split up into separate tracks. We have infinite amount of tracks in Reaper, so may as well take advantage of that. And it's just helpful to visualize the effects chain on separate tracks with panning and volume controls so easily accessible. But if you guys want to see the three band joiner plugin, in addition to this sort of workflow, let me know in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more.